banjo, banjo. Here I am uh, with some banjos. One of the cool things I get to do is work on banjos from time to time. And I have put it off for a little while. I've got a pile that I've been working on. One of the fun things about these super old banjos is that they don't have factory heads on them, if you will. You can't just buy replacements. They need, when you need a new head on one, you have to make one and you make it out of a raw uh, calfskin material. Here we go. Here's an old one from one of these. It's like this. It almost looks like, I don't know, parchment paper or contact paper. Uh, it's a thick uh, piece of leather that's, uh, I guess, raw hide, and you soak it, and you put it on here. I won't give you a demonstration, but there's a little hoop and a rim, and you it goes around the hoop and back out from the rim here, and you cut off the excess. Uh, super cool, but these do bust and tear, especially when these are like over 100 years old, and they need new ones. So this is like an 1800s Buckaby uh, banjo, and right now I've, I've got a fresh one that I put on there, woke up early, put it on this morning, and it is drying right now as we speak. It's starting, normally it sounds like this when you tap on because it's wet leather. Uh, this one's been drying for a couple hours and it's, it's tightening up and drying up and it'll all take form uh, as, as the, the next day or so goes. And I wanted to show you one from yesterday. It's super fun uh, to, to watch them. Uh, change and, and become a musical instrument, not just a piece of wet leather around a wooden rim with some hardware on it. So check this out. I haven't tightened this or anything. I put it on just like this one. That's what it sounded like yesterday. Once it dries up, before it's even been tightened, it tightens itself. So now it's ready, just about ready to put the neck on there and the hardware and the strings. And that's something that is, is ready to make some music. This is for a tenor banjo, probably from the third. So uh, getting those going along. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, uh, if you enjoy this sort of thing, uh, please hit that subscribe button down there and it'll let you know um, when more stuff is coming out, uh, especially if I'm gonna post more videos of these when they're finished and you'll be able to, to see those instruments. If you think somebody else would enjoy this, hit that arrow button and send it to them. Thanks for watching.